All right, so now that you have this set up, there's a couple of things you can do. One is you can go ahead and try and hook up a uh, charge controller, a blocking diode, and uh, a battery system. But if you just want to go ahead and do something for a fun display or to work with kids for educational purposes, this is a, a, a 500 watt light right here that can be used. It's an AC light, but uh, you know you can you can make it glow pretty good. The other thing you can do is <clears throat> hook up like a, a leaf blower to this right now, and that'll make a ping pong ball float in the air. So that's kind of a fun display to do for a school science fair or for a kind of a green festival or something. Okay, this is called an AC plug. This is what you have in your house to plug things into, like lights and uh, computers and everything. You can hook this up right here to this generator and use it to power um, a light or a leaf blower or whatever you want. So, first thing you do is you undo these screws, and once those are out, you can go ahead and you'll see back here that there's these terminals. So what you want to do is go ahead and connect these up to the generator. And when you're powering up a light or you're powering up a, an AC motor with a DC generator, it doesn't matter. You don't have to worry about which one's positive and which one's negative. Because a light or a, um, a leaf blower will work the same way, same direction, and you don't have to worry about it. So let's go ahead and put this on just for fun to see how it works. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and take these off and now you just have your, your regular wires from the generator and you want to take this boot and you want to slip it over the wires so now they'll come through and next you go ahead and pull on the wires flatten them out twist them like this so they're really nice and pointy and there's no stray wires. There's no stray wires on there at all. So they look like this. And then you want to go ahead and put the wires into these screw terminals. So you put one in here. So this is the first wire and you can see the copper part of the wire is inside the terminal. And we're going to tighten down. You want to make sure you're not tightening down on the on the on the plastic insulation inside there. Just make sure it's bare wire. Here's the this is the other screw terminal here. That has to be You're going to go ahead and slide that. There's lots of different types of these plugs at the hardware store. You can go to Ace Hardware Store, Home Depot, Lowe's, and they're all pretty much the basic thing. You have a terminals inside like this that has to be tightened. Notice again how there's no insulation inside that terminal. It's just the bare copper wire so that electricity can flow better. Now you slide the boot back up and over. Make sure you get your, look at your holes inside the boot. Make sure they line up with these three screws. There's three holes in this case. And there's always a notch somewhere right here. This is the notch right here, that square, square thing right there. And that notch lines up with a notch on the plug right here. So now we can tighten our screws back up. And now you've got a way to plug in, easily plug in whatever you want. You can do a toaster, you can do a blender. A blender won't spin very well at all because it needs a lot more voltage, but a light will work and a blower will work. So let's go ahead and try the light first just to see how it works. See now these are nice and tight. You've got yourself an AC plug. Okay, so here's the, the plug we just put on. AC plug. This is kind of a utility light, outdoor utility light. We can kind of nice because it's a 500 watt bulb which has a low enough resistance to where you'll see something. A lot of times if you have um, just a regular light bulb those are only like 100 watts and you won't you won't see anything but a real faint glow. But you can take this plug now and plug it right into your generator and now you can have fun just uh, powering up a light. OK, 
Okay, so that's how the light works, and now we're going to try something else fun. And uh, what we're going to do is take a leaf blower, and the leaf blower has just a, a bracket uh, screwed into it here to hold it in an upright position so it can do a fun floating ball display. And we're going to use this uh, piece of foam that's just a swimming noodle for kids in a swimming pool. It's made using a belt sander. So we're going to put this in here, and we're going to put it into the the leaf blower thing. So this will hold the, the ping pong ball. When the leaf blower starts blowing, the ping pong ball will float up in the air. And kids really love this display. It's a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and hook it up and try it out. You can see the ball's now floating up in the air. All right, so now the last thing we're gonna do is just to, just to power up a fun a 100 watt light bulb. And again, we're gonna use one of these adapter sockets that uh, allows us to screw the bulb in right into the base. And then we have these two prongs here to plug into the bike generator. All right, so we're gonna unplug the leaf blower. And now we're gonna plug in this 100 watt AC bulb. Let's say if you're doing a science fair, a grain festival, or educational school activity, you want to monitor the voltage, you take one of these simple three-way strips here, and they're just like that. Now you have three, you can put three light bulbs in there once, or three things at once. You can put the light back in, and then you have your voltmeter. You can put your voltmeter right in here. It stays up. And you just put your voltmeter leads right into the holes right here and now we can monitor how many volts it's being generated all right so make sure your your voltmeter is set to DC voltage here the light comes on yeah there it is so we're gonna go ahead it was set for 20 volts maximum and it went over limit so now we're setting the voltmeter to 200 volts DC to see how much we're getting out of this generator 23 volts, 22 volts. So that's how you can check and see what's coming out of your generator.